Hi guys, if you missed the previous episode, what we're looking at here is a wire controlled car, toy car, that I've stripped down and I'm going to convert it to hobby grade radio control just for the fun of it, not because we're making a high speed racing car or anything. Now, even though it's wire controlled and the batteries are in there, the chassis is actually cast or molded to hold three, sorry, four AA batteries. But I'm not going to use them. I'm going to fit a small LiPo or lithium ion battery in there. So I'm just breaking out those dividers to make space. So I'll do that. And we'll come back in a minute. There we are, nice clean space for a battery. I'll make a little hole in there somewhere for the lead to come through. I've got an ESC here. Now I'm not entirely sure whether this is a good one or a bad one. I usually write put a red cross on it when they're 40, so I think this one's all right. Just not quite sure why it's bundled up like that. I've probably used it on something that needed the wires tucked out the way. I might give it a little test before I actually put it in place. What I'm planning to do is, because there's a, a knockout space down there for an on-off switch, I'm gonna Put the on-off switch down there and rather than solder a connector onto the motor I shall solder the lead directly onto it which does mean there's a good chance we'll have it backwards but uh, yeah we'll solder it on and see whether it works and then that lead goes to the receiver and that one goes through the battery so we need a hole in the battery box big enough for that to go through. Right on off switch through there, hole there for the battery lead to go through. Now I need to solder that onto the motor and then we'll find out whether the ESC works or not. Right, let's tin these. Solder iron's not warm enough yet. the leadless solder I've got that is, well, I'm trying to use it because everybody complains about it and I just thought, well, let's see how we get on with it and to be honest, I do struggle a bit. those leads anymore. And I've no idea. That one actually says positive on there, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the way we want it to run. Can we do this like this? We might tidy that up in a minute. I'll just see if it goes the right way first. So, I better rig up a transmitter, receiver, and all the rest of it. Alright, this receiver is already bound to that controller. So, I can never remember which channel it is. OK, 
That's all right. Let's put this in here. And which way round it went. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. That one sits in there. Oh, I didn't solder that very well, did I? Oh well. Let's put that out again. Right, get that in there. Get that in there. And then I should be able to solder that one. Let's just rest that there for a minute. Move that black one out of the way. A bit easier with it all being held in place for me. on there. Now we'll find out if it's going the right way round. Make sure the throttle is in a normal position. Oh look at that, that's the right way. And it's very low geared. throwing it into reverse. I don't usually use the brake. I'm quite happy for it to slam into reverse so you can do things like um, handbrake turns. Yeah, okay, so that'll do for today I think. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.